I mean, it's not funny. It is a little bit if you think about it. <laughs> Nothing could be more justice, you know. Um, could bring more justice to Sharon than that happening. Um, but the idea would be um, that some, you know, she had to take up residence with a fellow person in, you know, prison or whatever. Had to, you know, someone selling Lucy's, this, that, and the other. A whole story unfolded, and I wouldn't think of this on my own because I actually don't have a good imagination I actually do not the only thing I do is report on things that happen that's journalism and nonfiction and so forth and so on I don't even know how to imagine anything I swear to God <laughs> in fact I would be punished if I were to make something up it's hard to explain like the universe would actually make me feel nauseated so um, anyway all this is still uh, getting set up for the winter and roped off um, but anyway so this whole thing played out with Heather uh, being in prison and this that and the other so then it became a thing of they had to send out an ambulance 600 times as she awaited trial to resuscitate her because she was having panic attacks about getting caught with sugar smacks this all this narrative was sent as part of um, a very bad messaging system in the sky which would be corruption and it's part of gang stalking it's part of what I experienced some things are seen in the gang stalking world and some things go unseen so I'm just reporting it I'm told to go ahead and talk about that because someone had to write the ship in the wrong direction so they would be saying oh well or the idea would be oh that's right Okay, <clears throat> yesterday a message got sent through that just because I stood up for myself and I filed a complaint with a specific yoga, yoga studio because I had a right to do so, they had to resuscitate the owner of a studio 500 times because she didn't think anyone would actually tell on her. <clears throat> um, I was actually told to tell on her and actually what they did was really bad. It's, way, it's in the very bad realm. Um, and I told because the, that activity has got to stop. So the idea would be um, they had to, you know, somebody had to come out and piece her back together because she couldn't handle the fact that she tried to get away with something, was told on, and, and started flipping out all over the place. And needed, you know, was having panic attacks and everything. So that's, this is in response to that, to have an ambulance come out because they changed the portals over here now. You walk up to it, you see a reflection. We would have to piece Sharon back together. Because <laughs> I work, I, technically I've worked really hard to try to stay at a certain, in a certain weight range. Also, some people look better. It's interesting, some people come across or carry themselves. It's either confidence or they were told they were beautiful their whole lives. If you're not, you kind of don't have that same whatever it is, je ne sais quoi. Um, also, if you grow up being compared to other people, you know, all you need is a step family to come in and your dad or your favorite parent to favor other people. And once you have a parent favoring someone else's kids, then you feel like a loser your whole life. You know what I mean? Especially in the male versus female realms in the world I grew up in. So that's what that's all about. That's a long drawn out story. It's hard to explain how all that um, stuff comes up. I wouldn't have even remembered, you know, you know, the whole yoga situation and the idea that they had to resuscitate someone and who did something on purpose that was bad and then wants to divert blame to the person who actually decides to tell. That's happened in my life a lot. It is amazing. People want to beat me up. And then if I finally stand up for myself and try to, to expose them, um, then they got to divert. No, 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 Sharon's wrong. Sharon's the one. My stepmom was a little bit like that. And it's like, I spent my entire life trying to get the attentions of my dad, and yet I'm not, good in, I'm not doing right by my dad. You see what I mean? So that happens in every case. 
and we have a lot of spoiled babies out there who get to steal money or steal, you know, technically if you're a yoga studio operator, in a way you could be stealing money from people. So um, depends on how you run your studio and what your objectives are, what your intentions are, and so forth and so on. Anyway, just taking a stroll this morning as per instructed-ish. Where I can uh, catch okay. the, the subway? Um, it or, is... Or are there any train station? There's one, I think there's an entryway in City Hall, but I usually go over by underground, uh, across from City Hall, over by whatever that is. Those two white buildings there, there's an entryway there. So, uh, so what do I do? Um, I well, I haven't ridden in a while, and they changed their cards, so like key cards expired and stuff like that. That's what I remember. Um, but sorry, I. You I don't know. know. I don't have. Where any, I can catch the subway? To where I get train station? Uh, that's where that green TD sign is. That's the best one I know. Sorry, oh, right, sorry. <laughs> so. He probably, you know, wants help or money or what have you, and what have you, uh, in order to either ride the subway or similar, or they don't want me coming over here, what have you. But um, I feel sorry for everyone because there's a lot of stuff in the world that goes on, and people wind up here sometimes not totally from their own uh, fault. You know what I mean? So it's. I started to learn how the world works and how people wind up in certain situations. So. So. Anyway. Turn around. He doesn't want to know what's going on. <laughs> Go this way. Okay. So anyway, um, one of the reasons I don't love living in the city is it's too hard to see uh, how bad the world is. Um, and I mean like the situations people wind up in, um, there are all kinds of forces at play. I'm very liberal on this issue because I experienced something totally whack. I am talking, are you kidding me? Um, and I went through my own homeless-ish period is what most people would call it, but I was scared, S-H-I-T-L-E-S-S. -S. Um, someone came in and crashed the party of my dog walking client criminals, <laughs> and in, kind of invisibly, and said, you will no longer be walking dogs for these people because they will just keep you trapped in this situation. So you will disappear on them. You won't even give them the courtesy of like two weeks notice like you would. And I'm someone who's always been, you know, I grew up a good girl in Newark, Delaware, and you're supposed to do all the things that you're supposed to do, you know? Um, and um, and this person who I guess would be like a handler, that would be the best word 